okay so good morning guys don't mind me i look crazy as shit but i'm on my way to run errands before we go to north carolina yo let me tell you something i'm so pissed off because i had wow footage from sesame place and my memory card messed up on the way back home so yeah i couldn't really i didn't save anything actually but we're going back out there again so it's going to be fun and i'll get footage then i look crazy but that's because i didn't feel like looking to do my hair or anything like that but i'm gonna take y'all along with me so guys i am currently in the car Whew, i'm out of breath listen guys i started this workout regimen and maybe i could start working out with y'all i don't know if any of you guys want to go on a workout journey with me and work out in the mornings let me know maybe we can motivate each other because truthfully guys i am really really tired of um my stomach being this way from Guy Stacy's rec thigh. I already explained to you guys. I already explained to you guys what that means and how it affected me. Um, also, let me let me ask y'all something, right? I really want to understand and know what it is that you guys want to see on this channel, man. Like, I started with the whole. I started with the whole. Um, making videos about my pregnancy and everything like that the thing with that is that guys i feel like that gets old after a while so i don't know if y'all want me to go into detail in each video more about it or like what like what's the word but anyways i don't know let me know yo did y'all ever see a starbucks like this it's not they got a patio outside that's crazy they got a patio outside this is crazy but anyways so yeah guys i really enjoy this starbucks and i think i'm gonna start coming here more often it's right in park slope brooklyn dope so guys we are here at the wax clinic and i'm getting that huge wax because you know my girlfriend loves when it's nice and bald and so they're very clean sanitary i'm about to let my friend poppy get all in this punani and i'm currently on the phone with my girlfriend because you know i don't like to do this wax and experience alone i love when she's on the phone with me so until next time family up oh, not the right channel so guys, I'm just leaving the best wax place in the world. Poppy is the best wax place in the Come check her out at Perfect Brows. She's so good, guys. Um, right in Park Slope, have a good one. Right in Park Slope, she's so good. I just left the wax place. That's my wax lady, guys, forever, man. Um, let me make sure I don't have a ticket. And then I'm good to go. All right, no ticket. Now I gotta go head to Target, guys. This is crazy. And then I'm gonna clean up my car. Cause we really getting on the road tonight. So I'm gonna take y'all along with me. So guys, I finally made it to Target. Well, Atlantic Mall, I'm going upstairs to Target. And um, I parked in this creepy ass parking lot, but that's neither here or there. I hate when it's mad silent, it's mad weird. But I'm going upstairs. I decided to go ahead and get Cairo another potty to see if he actually does better with the toilet seat, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So, guys, check your girl out. I, can't, I just left Target. I'm so mad because I spent $140 on it on what I don't know. But, anyways, I had to go and get some essentials from there. Now, I'm on my way to my car so I can continue to run errands. Target and a lot of these stores have music playing, so it's really hard for me to record it there. I know y'all wanted to see more footage when I go um, in and out of places, but it's difficult because, like I said, the places have music in it, so I have to turn off the camera. Sometimes I'll be so into talking that I don't even realize that the music is playing and then I'll have to immediately just turn off the camera in the middle of a sentence. So I apologize for that, but shout out to, I saw some lady in Target today. I didn't get your name, but if you're watching this video, I really truly appreciate the love. Um, a lot of y'all who may know my girlfriend um, and people who watch me as well on YouTube, um, especially the studs that watch me, they, show a lot of love in the street when i'm outside and i really truly 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 appreciate the love guys um 
even if y'all show me love because of my girlfriend i truly appreciate it because some people can know shamia and not say nothing to me because she's not with me but to know that y'all still respect her relationship and respect me enough to say hi to me it's truly a blessing and i really 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 want to say that i appreciate y'all for those who are supporters of mine and that came to me from her or came to me from youtube or instagram or studs rn or any of those promotion pages and y'all see me in the street i truly appreciate y'all as well so yeah with that said i'm leaving target i just tackled most of my errands i have to go run a few more but i think i'm gonna have to stop and get carol because he was crying for me so then after that i'll finish running errands but anyways here we go so now guys i'm on broadway in brooklyn and i gotta hurry up and try to get carter a jacket push him in before we leave um and i'm trying to run so that i won't get a ticket so yeah okay let's go so guys i clearly didn't finish the video um of when i was in side of kids town i had to rush and go get cairo afterwards and the day was a bit hectic so i couldn't really get a lot of footage because clearly we had to head out of town but here we are guys on the i-95 heading down south guys we're heading down south but this next clip is gonna be clearly what this title of the video is about so yeah i keep asking me the same question so i'm gonna do a little recap listen y'all want to know about my insemination process first and foremost i'm gonna put the link in the top of this video so that y'all can click it and see my first reaction to my insemination process i talked about my labor and delivery process i answered some questions i also did a q a about it but just a quick recap for those who are new to my channel and who are new to my instagram and who dm me about the process or advice um this is what that video is for january 21st of 2018 is when i did my first insemination the second insemination i did was january 22nd it was from the same um donor and it wasn't technically like two um two processes i did the insemination twice because i had two vows but it wasn't like i did one it didn't work and i did another one so technically i don't know which vow worked but i wanted to use two just to higher my heighten my chances of being pregnant so january 21st and 22nd of 2018 i did my at-home insemination and like three or four weeks later i found out that i was pregnant i think a lot of the questions stem from like advice and like what how did i how did i have a successful pregnancy to be honest guys there's no rule book on how to have a successful pregnancy but i can tell you the steps that i took to heighten my chances of becoming pregnant one i use pre-seed which is which you can purchase from amazon um and that helps for the sperm to travel especially if you do at home insemination you basically ins inserting the sperm into your cervix instead of your uterus because of course that's dangerous to use a tool and try to get it that far inside of you that's something that you would do at a, fer at a fertility clinic and so since I'm not, I didn't do it that way, I did it at home, I clearly inserted it into my cervix. And when you do it that way, you want the sperm to travel as quick as possible and you want it to travel clearly um, so that you have a positive pregnancy test result. I also had my legs raised at the back of the bed for about 45 minutes, as long as possible actually. Um, but once my legs started to cramp, I let them down. You want to relax. You want to make sure that you use stuff like pre -seed. You want to make sure that you use fertility trackers and ovulation trackers because those are very important. You want to make sure that you have a positive mindset. I think that when you are organized and you do things like track your ovulation that you'll be more successful. I think that's a big part of it. And if you know your body um, so that you inseminate at the right time. For those who may know, sperm do live for about, I think, seven days. So you have a successful chance if you try and like say you purchase two vows and within those seven days you do it twice because now you have a 14 day time span if you understand what i'm saying for that sperm to like kind of travel or whatever without dying off so quickly so i think that those are the three top things i would say make sure you get pre-seed make sure you track your ovulation make sure you probably want to do two doses i, I would call it doses i don't know if you use vows if you do it from a um, sperm bank or if you get the sperm from like a friend or something like that get at least two cups 
or two shots i don't know which i want to call it but i use valves so for me i had two valves so use at least two of whatever you're going to insert into you so that you can heighten your chances um and then just relax and don't take the pregnancy test early like i did because i was killing myself i kept taking seven days in advance and then of course it kept saying negative so i just thought that i was just like nah one and done and i didn't want to do it again because it was miserable it was a miserable process to know that i went through all of that and it still wasn't successful but i was a crybaby and of course i was i clearly had a positive um, pregnancy test i just was testing too early so um yeah that was my process it was very short because i didn't like plan it over time for a long period of time i knew that i wanted a child and i literally went and ordered this room the next month for those who may not be as financially stable like how i was during that time you could clearly ask a friend or i don't know i know people who even get like donations for it um but the california um cryo bank is the bank that i used they do have different family options and freezer options for you to freeze your sperm over time if you do have a successful pregnancy they have future baby um options where you could save future sperm for your family as it grows and i think that overall that sums it up if you want to know more about it specifically dm me questions i could probably do an updated q a um, I try not to get too talkative in these videos so I don't address every single question that I got and sometimes I forget what questions you ask. Um, in terms of advice, the only thing I would say is just to make sure it's something that you want to do. We all glorify like parenting to be something that's amazing, something that, which it is, and something that's like a walk in the park. I would say that the amazing part is definitely accurate. Walk in the park is not and I think that for everybody who's going through a process, any kind of process to pregnancy, you want to have a mindset of knowing that like, when this happens, this is what I want. And a child don't deserve to come into, into a world, to, into this world, to a person who is not fully, I wouldn't even say ready, but mentally prepared for a child because it it's daunting on them to like, be somewhere that they didn't ask to be and you treat them like shit because you wasn't ready for it so it's like nah make sure it's something you really want make sure you're ready um if you are gonna have a family make sure it's a family that you feel like it's gonna be forever like make sure you i would say make sure you marry because honestly before i used to think that was cliche but now i really think that it means everything to make sure like something is gonna be long lasting and even if you're not married make sure it's something that's gonna be like a forever thing or that you and a person can connect in a way that you can still communicate if y'all were to separate and y'all can still coexist for the for the sake of the child because the idea is for us to continue to have healthy parenting i mean healthy families and not broken families regardless if it's a girl or a girl guy and a guy girl and a guy doesn't matter what it is children don't deserve broken families they deserve love happiness and people who are there to support them and i think that genuinely it takes two and I think that um, overall, you'll be good. Like, go do it, go for it. If you have any questions, um, you can hit me up on the Real Stud Mom. I also have a link to my website in the description below where you can purchase some unapologetically me clothing for those who always ask me like, oh, what kind of advice you would give somebody who's about to be unapologetically you? Like, if you're about to conceive, if you're about to think about the process of having a child, the world is against you. A lot of people are against you, so you want to go into it being unapologetically you. So if you want to rep some of that merch, go in that link in the um, description below. Click on that link. Cop some of that merch. If y'all don't see something that y'all like, DM me. Let me know what y'all want to see. It doesn't matter. I'm, the, I'm an open book, to be honest. But I'm about to get over here because everybody's sleeping. I feel like I'm whispering. And when I whisper, I get a little nervous. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get up off this thing. You know what I'm saying? But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like always, give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. If I didn't address a concern, a question, leave that in the comments below. Or you can kindly DM me if you feel like you want to be anonymous and don't want other people to see your question. Holla at you, girl.